All right, a lot to dig into. Big weekend coming up. We all know some of the issues that have been widely discussed that we kicked off this newscast with. So let's take you back out to Avila Beach, where you can see some folks are at the beach. And again, we are not encouraging any unsafe behavior by giving you a forecast with numbers for beaches. Those are decisions that you have to make. And again, we highly encourage you to use all that social distancing and best practices. So just to get that out of the way, be on KSBY, your pictures today, Wesley Frames, beautiful view, some of the bloom continuing. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for your pictures. I'm TV Dave Humpty on Facebook. That's where a lot of these go. Chuck Harkin's nice view of some activity out in Morro Bay. And Ethel kind of getting into the water and shooting back toward the dunes. I like that, really nice picture, well done. Can't wait to see more of those. Daytime highs today, as I discussed, I thought the temperatures were going to go up simply based on more sunshine, and they did. Santa Maria 75, 82 in San Luis today, 88 in Paso Robles, 85 out of Port San Luis, 71 at the Santa Barbara Airport, 77 in Cuyama, Morro Bay, 60. That is the one number that kind of jumps out as being oddly on the cool side. But again, that temperature is taken fairly close to the water. Now, temperatures near the ocean currently have backed off into the low 60s. In the coastal valleys, middle 60s, driven by some pretty strong onshore winds at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Even North County seeing some winds at 24. All that energy translates through and below those passes and canyons and over the ridge tops. And that's why we have this wind advisory through 6 a.m. tomorrow for north winds 20 to 30 with gusts between 45 and 55 miles per hour. Did you notice that it was less muggy today? We talked about that being the expectation in the forecast, and indeed it is. The dew points are in the upper 40s for the Central Coast and even 30s in the interior valleys. South Coast perhaps still feeling a little on the muggier side. 57 is the dew point in Santa Barbara. So breezy conditions into the evening, backing off a bit later on tonight. Then early offshore flow helps drive beach temperatures up. It may actually be warmer in some of the beaches than in places like Santa Maria tomorrow. And then as we get into Saturday morning, early marine layer backing away from the beach, but then coming back in. So it's definitely going to be temperature controlled weekend. It will not be as warm as it was last weekend. When we look at the overall pattern, again, the mugginess shifted off to the east. High pressure is in control. Just some garden variety showers across the inner mountain west and the east coast has a fairly strong line of showers and a few isolated thunderstorms. A couple of days ago, that was severe. Drought monitor, slight change today. The moderate drought went up 6%, but the overall amount of the state covered in some kind of designation is unchanged. Reservoirs have gone both ways. Nasi's at 52, Salinas 89, Lopez 52, Whale Rock 84. San Antonio 38, Gibraltar at 100, and Jameson as well. Kachuma's at 81. Here's a look at the forecast, 73 for Lompoc and Santa Maria, 78 in Slow and 73 Santa Barbara, 83 up in Paso Robles, 82 Santa Inez, 86 Solving, 75 in Orchid. And again, some of the beaches may actually be warmer than places a little further inland thanks to some downsloping and offshore early winds. But I would think anything that happens happens fairly early because late day winds are strongly onshore, pulling temperatures down. And if there's a trend, it's down a little on Saturday with a little more marine influence, perhaps slightly up on Sunday. And then as we get into the middle to latter portion of next week, temperatures could really get going.